morning. I will be starting today this November 2019 CE board exam series that my aim is to be able to number one to be able to help somehow dun sa mga magte-take ng board exam ngayon because the probability of a problem that appeared before most especially the latest will appear again is very high. So it is always an advantage if you encounter or you see or you saw and understand the solution to the previous latest as in latest board exam. So I will be doing this series and the complete series will be done in our coaching program that will start on November 7. I am inviting you to enroll in our coaching program for the CE board exam November 2021. This coming November 14 and 15 is the board exam for civil engineering. November 7, we will be starting our coaching program. So enroll now. It would be really an advantage. Okay? So number one. A box contains five defective and 15 non-defective bulbs. Two of the bulbs are chosen at random. We are asked here to find the probability that both two bulbs are defective. In, per in probability, there are two approaches. One is the probability multiplication technique and the other is the probability is equal to the number of desired outcomes over the total outcomes. You use this if there is a single event while probability is equal to the product of probability of each event. You use this for multiple events. When we say multiple events, meaning each occurrence or event happen in a different time from the other. So meaning, there is a predecessor, there is a successor. Now in this situation, when we took two bulbs, it was not said that one bulb at a time. So meaning, the two bulbs were taken all at the same time. And to be more specific, the word chosen was used. Meaning, it is a combination or it is a selection. So, meaning D and T are combination or selection of two bulbs. D is with desired outcome. T is any outcome is acceptable. So, therefore, in as much as this is combination, this is combination you choose two defective, two defective out of how many defectives? That is out of five defectives. The other is total is you choose two bulbs out of 20 total bulbs. So therefore, our probability here is going to be 5C2 over 20C2. So this is boy and girl principle that I taught in the regular review. You choose two defective of five defective you choose two bulbs out of 20 bulbs. So you compute this and you'll get here 1 over 19. What about this one? A mercury barometer atop of a mountain read 650 mm mercury. This 650 mm is the H in gamma H formula of Pascal. So according to this, Assuming that the unit weight of air is 12 newton per cubic meter and the specific gravity of mercury is 13.6, what is the height of the mountain? It is this. So if this is your mountain, the reading here meaning air pressure. So the reading here is 650 mm mercury. You get it? Okay, now the 650 mm is the barometric pressure or the pressure of air. Okay, I repeat, this is the pressure of air 
of free air in the atmosphere at this level. Now, if this is elevation zero, meaning sea level, we know here that at sea level, the atmospheric pressure or the pressure of air at normal temperature, normal pressure, at sea level, this is 760 mm mercury. Meaning, in the barometer, the reading is 760. Okay? Now, these are both pressure of air in the atmosphere. Okay? So, this is the atmosphere. Now, the atmosphere, of course, is filled with air according to this the pre the density or unit weight of air in the atmosphere is 12 newton per cubic meter so we are asked here to find the height of this mountain let us call that h let me call this as point 1 let me call the sea level as point 2 so let us write the static pressure equation from 1 to point 2. So, starting from point 1, the pressure is P1 plus we will go down. As we go down, pressure increase. So, plus. Plus gamma of air multiplied by H. And we are now at point 2. So, this is P2. P1 and P2 are both pressure of air in the atmosphere, right? So, but express in terms of mercury. So, P1 is gamma of mercury multiplied by H1 of mercury plus gamma of air times H. We are looking for this. The height of air, of column of air, is the height of the mountain. And this is P2. That is in terms of pressure of mercury, gamma of mercury times H2 of mercury. We now substitute the gamma of mercury. Gamma is specific gravity times density of water, right? So, gamma is equal to specific gravity times density of water. But the density of water is 9810 newton per cubic meter. I will be using the 9810 value in newton because the unit weight of air given is in newton. So, therefore, this is going to be... The, the unit weight of mercury is the specific gravity... 13.6 times the unit weight of water, 98.10, H1 of mercury, 650 in meter, 0.65 meter. Plus gamma of air, 12, height of air, H, gamma of mercury, 13.6 times 98.10 times H of mercury here is 760 or in meter, 0.70. Six. So, one equation in terms of H will be able to solve for H. And that is the height of the mountain. And this is 1223 meters. So, this is the height of that mountain. You follow? What about this problem in design? A simply supported girder of a bridge spans 12, 25 meters. So, this is the bridge. And this is 25 meters. The standard truck, truck load consists of two moving loads that are 4.3 meters apart. The loads are 142.4 and 35.6 kilonewtons. We are asked to find the maximum support reaction. So, take note that this is our reaction at A. This would be the reaction at B. We want here to find the maximum RA or RB due to this load. 
So let us draw here our influence diagram or influence line for R A. Just like what I taught you, this would be CSO points, but we need the influence line for R A. So at this point, you remove the pin instead of this is the pin and this is the beam and this is the support you remove that instead you replace that by the helical spring so this can now separate the support and the beam can separate and they are connected one end of the spring on the beam and the other end on the support then you release but this one is a CISO point, a point of support. It can CISO at this point. So here, you release it. Twang. So our spring will return to its natural length of one unit. So this will move up. The beam will move up here. And take note that since this is a point of CIS, this is a hinge or a CISO point, it will rotate here. So, this is our influence line for RA. Our maximum ordinate is 1. So, to produce maximum RA, you put our concentrated load on top of the point where the influence line for RA is maximum. So, that will happen when your 142.4 is here. It's here. 142.4 and the other wheel load here which is 35.6 and this is what? 4.3 meters. If this is 4.3, this is 25. This must be 20.7 20, 20 meters. Meaning, using Y is MX, my favorite simple formula, Y is MX, the slope of this is 1 over 25, and the X for this is this one, the X for the triangle, and that is 20.7. So this is 20.7 over 25. So, therefore, our maximum RA is going to be equal to if the load is a unit load only 1, then here it would be the reaction at A is 1. So, however, the load here is not 1 but 142.4. So, you multiply the ordinate 1 by 142.4 plus there is also a load here. If the load here is 1, then our reaction at A due to that load alone is 20.7 over 25. However, the load here is not 1 but 35.6. So, you've got to multiply this which is 20.7 over 25 multiplied by the actual load 35.6. So, therefore, computing this, this would be 171.8768 kilonewtons. This is the maximum reaction at point A. Maximum RA. You follow?